Hello and welcome to my tutorial for how to navigate on a MacBook with a broken screen. Uh, so for this one, uh, it's got a busted screen and occasionally it'll turn all the way off and be uh, darkened, but you can still get sound out of it, which means that the, the you know processing part of the computer is still operational and just the graphics are disabled. So if you're in a situation like this, there is something that you can do and... Uh, it's just to go into voiceover, which is command F5. Voiceover on application, login, window, 23 characters, enter password, secure, edit text as keyboard focus. Enter password, you are currently on a text field. To enter text in this field, type, this is a secure text field. Text typed into this field will not be displayed and will not be spoken by voiceover. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the Display. brightness all the way down. Zero, zero percent. And just for the purposes of showing that this can be done with no visual cues, um, I'm going to use voiceover to navigate to uh, hopefully maybe some specific folder or, or something, maybe like the desktop, just to show that uh, you, you can get in and if you really need to get a file out, you can get your file. So let's get started. All right. So I'm going to turn this guy back on. Voiceover off. Voiceover on application. Login. Window. 23 characters. Okay. So what he's saying right now is that the area that contains my password or would contain a password is full of junk because I've been pressing keys. So uh, what I'm going to do is... Hold on just a sec. Get most of the keyboard in the shot. This is all about the hotkeys. So I'm going to enter my password real quick. All right, so what's gonna happen now is it's gonna go through the login process. Welcome to Mac OS. VoiceOver is on. Authentication, window, cancel, button has keyboard focus. You are currently in a window. All right, uh, so some of, the, some of the things he tells you, you may not be familiar with what he's talking about necessarily. If you're super familiar with Macs, you're probably able to do what I'm about to show you, uh, you know, without actually needing voiceover commands. But, um, Basically, he, something along something along the login process has opened a dialog. There's, uh, I mean, I suppose all I could really do about it is press cancel is, is the option it gave me. Or you could try navigating left and right with command, or I'm sorry, control option. In the, if you do nothing, the computer will continue to log in in 18 seconds. Okay. You are currently on a text element. Okay, so that's, that's what it told me. It's, it's going to log in within 18 seconds. So uh, I don't know why it's doing this, but also there's going to be a lot of um, uh, background processes Window. that it will alert me about. So it'll probably tell me about Steam, Chrome, Discord, just programs that open when... Dis code. Visual Studio Code. Window. Yep. Chrome. Restore page. All right. So it's, it's popping up with all this stuff. Pages is launched in the background. And if you left a lot of programs running when your computer broke, you know, it, it may be slightly more difficult to do this because... Pages. It'll just be popping up with things for a little while. Discord, Discord, window, link. Learn more about how we use this information. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a, a few more seconds because I feel like there's going to be more pop-ups. You know, Steam trying to log in and all that stuff. Uh, but basically, once this thing is settled, we're going to use the uh, the... Prompts that the voiceover system. Steam, Steam login window. Yeah, there Steam it is. login window. Finder is launched in the background. You are currently on a window. All right. So I guess I'll give it a shot. Um, so I know for a fact that I have a file uh, that's name is X U R T H, and I'm pretty sure it's a PNG. So I'm going to go ahead and search for that using the spotlight search. So what you do for that is you go command space. Spotlight, spotlight, system dialog, spotlight search, search text field, blank. All right, and then spotlight say. Search. You are currently on an X, U, R, T, search, text inserted. All right, and then just maybe wait for just a second. Okay, nothing else to say. And you could try going down. Visionfixer.rb, developer icon image, completion selected. Okay, so that's exactly what I'm looking for. M dash. M dash. Zerth. Insertion at end of text. Spotlight search. Search text field. Zerth selected. 
Okay. Code visionfixer.rb moon colony master window visionfixer.rb group code busy. You are currently on a group. To interact with items in this group, press control option shift down arrow. All right. So what's happening right now is there's a file called Vision Fixer, which is a Ruby file that references the file I was talking about. This name is XURTH. So it's finding that as, a, as another result. And what you can do in that situation is uh, you can try searching again. Spotlight. And Spotlight. maybe System adding a refinement and like... Dash. Vision Earth. Text U R T H. Period. P N G. Spotlight search. You are currently on a text field. To enter text in this field, type. And sometimes we have a bit persnickety. Me and my buddy worked on a similar computer for a while and were able to copy his entire pictures folder. So say for instance if I if I try to do that. Code the P I C T U R E S. You are currently on a group. To interact with items in this group, press Control, Option, Shift, Down Arrow. All right, so when it says group, it, it's referring to something that contains sub-objects, which is like a folder, for instance. So I'm, I'm on the folder, right? So if I do Command-C, hmm, that's odd. Space selected. Hmm. You are currently on a text area inside of a group. To exit spotlight, spotlight system dialog. Right, let me try that again. Dash. No results. X U R T H I P N G P I C T U R E S M CDs and DVDs. System preferences icon image. Completion selected. Spotlight search. You are currently on a text field. To enter text in this field, type code visionfixer.rb. System preferences. System preferences window. OK. Default button has keyboard focus. You are currently on a button. To click this button, press Control, Option, Space. All right. So uh, that's obviously not working. I'm not sure I even have a pictures folder. I never specifically created one. But uh, there is something else you can do. Say you scroll up to the far corner. If you click the Apple. Apple, Menu 10 Items. All right. You are currently on a menu. To choose this menu item, press Control, Option, Space. So you can go... About this Mac. System Preferences. So I just selected... Update. You are currently on a menu item. To choose this menu item, press Control, Option, Space. To close this menu, press Escape. Right. So I just selected, or I'm I'm basically hovering over the System Preferences option in the Apple menu, which if you're unable to get your uh, Mac into target boot mode because the screen won't turn on, then what you can do here is select it. Closing menu. OK. Default button. System Preferences. One update. You are currently on a button. To click this button, press Control, Option, Space. Uh, so I'm going to try moving around, see where I am. To see this preferences pane, you may need to connect a device to your computer. OK, default button. OK, default button. Hmm. You are currently on a button. To click this button, press Control, Option, Space. OK, so it may take a few tries as well. So let's try searching again. Spotlight. S, S, T, E, M, S, P, O, E, F, E, O, E, C, N, C, E, S. Spotlight search. You are currently on a text field. To enter text in this field, type. System preferences, applications, applications icon image, completion selected. You are currently on a button. To click this button, press control, option, space. All right. So what's going on here is I should be in the system preferences now. It's what I said and where I am. So what I'm going to try to do is use the control option arrow keys and navigate. Um, OK, default button. OK, def OK. To see this preferences, you can't open the CDs and DVDs preferences pane because it is not available to you at this time. Right. You are currently on a text element. Well. Apple menu 10 items. You are currently on a menu. To choose this menu item, press control, option, space. About this Mac, system preferences, one update. System preferences, one update. System preferences alert image. System preferences alert image. You can't open the CDs and to see this preference. OK, default button. To see this preferences pane, you may need to connect a device to your OK, default button. Dialog, for window, system preferences. You are currently on a toolbar. To interact with the items on okay. this toolbar, press Control, Option, Shift, Down Arrow. So what was happening, since I can't see, it's uh, it was prompting me that there was some type of alert that I needed to see before it would allow me to continue. So I selected OK because it's the default button like it said. 
and uh, I'm going to try to continue onwards to uh, storage and and turn on uh, target boot mode. Preference panes, scroll, preference panes, preference panes, toolbar, preference panes, preference panes, scroll area, you preference panes, toolbar, you are zoom, dimmed button, you are currently on a button, toolbar, 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 hmm. zoom, dimmed button, minimize button, you are currently on a button, okay. to click, minimize button, minimize button, zoom, dimmed, preference panes, scroll, preference panes, toolbar, toolbar, Preference, preference panes, preference panes, scroll I'm sure this must be horribly obnoxious to listen to. to I apologize. The contents of this scroll area, press control, option, shift, down arrow. Preference panes, scroll area. In preference panes, scroll area, 32 items, general, button. Desktop and screensaver, dock, button. Keyboard button, wallet and Apple Pay button, parental controls button, parental controls, users and groups button, per Siri button, date and time button, time machine button, accessibility, Xbox 3, Xbox 360, wallet and Apple Pay button, internet accounts, iCloud button, startup disk, sound button, printers and trackpad, mouse button, keyboard button, energy saver, displays button, notification, spotlight button, security, language and region, mission control, dock button, desktop and screensaver button, general button, general button, Network button, Bluetooth extensions button, sharing button, touch ID button, users and groups button, parental controls, Siri button, date and time button, time machine button, accessibility button. So you are I... currently on a button inside of a scroll area. To click this button, press control, option, space. To stop interacting with the scroll area, press control, option, shift, up arrow. Another thing you can do is just try command space. Spotlight. Instant prep. T. R. A. G. E. Storage. Storage. Management. Applications icon image. System preferences. System preferences. Window. Accessibility button. It's busy. It's busy. The application. Macintosh HD. 8.92 gigabyte available. Full screen button. Categories table. Rec categories table. Macintosh HD. Macintosh HD. 8.92 gigabyte available of 121.02 gigabytes. Macintosh HD, 8.92 gigabyte available of 121.02 gigabytes. Okay. Well, uh, basically you just keep messing around like this. You'll find something that can help you, but I'm going to try to see if I can put it in targeted boot mode this way. Full screen button. This button also has an action to zoom. Macintosh HD, full screen button. Full screen button. This button also spotlight, spot torrent, O, O, T, Steam, applications, up to S, S, T, O, R, A, G, E, storage management, applications, icon, image, completion selected, spotlight search, you are currently on a text field, confirm, storage, insertion at end of text, spotlight search, search text field, confirm, storage, inserts, application, Macintosh HD, 8.92 gigabyte available of 121.02 gigabyte win applications 32.25 gigabytes applications 32.25 gigabytes side categories table applications 32.25 gigabytes sidebar item icon image categories tape macintosh hd 8.92 gigabyte available in text macintosh hd 8.92 gigabyte available of 121.02 gigabytes macintosh hd macintosh gp 121.0 of of 100 macintosh macintosh hd out of text. You are currently on a text element. Full screen button. Minimize button. Close button. Close button. Minim full categories table. Applications. 32.25 gigabytes. Sidebar item icon in categories. Vertical splitter. Header icon image. You are currently on an image. Resources table. Note show and finder. Dimmed button. Resources table. Show and finder. Delete. Dimmed button. Delete. Delete. Open. Remove app applications. Remove apps you can download again from the apps. Spotlight. Torrent. T. O. R. R. Up to S. Spotlight search. T. A. R. G. E. T. Space. B. O. O. T. System preference. Restart button. You are currently on a button. To click target disk mode button. All right. You are currently on a button. All right. So to what you just button, witnessed. Press control. Option. Space. Is I put it in targeted boot mode or actually. Uh, I just press enter. Uh, there may be some other obstacles that you face. And this is really just, you got to just listen closely to the shit that this guy says. It's very wordy and sometimes you'll have to listen to it a few times. And you have to really have, you know, good spatial awareness of where things are on the screen and use the arrow keys. If you get stuck, maybe, you know, if you're watching this on a phone or on a computer, try looking up. 
a screenshot of the specific folder or not the folder, I'm sorry, the application, whatever you're working in, uh, because then you'll be able to um, determine where you should be going. And uh, when the guy, he, he sometimes uses words that don't quite fit the description of what actually is happening. It doesn't seem like anyway. Um, but try to think outside the box. And if you're trying to copy, say, one image, I really recommend just searching for, say, like if you know the folder name, you can copy, you can use uh, the, the copy hotkey, and you can go to an external hard drive if you can connect one by searching in the spotlight for external. And then it'll take you to it, and you can use the, the paste option once you're inside, but you can navigate with the, uh, with the voiceover. So you can paste files that you're trying to get off uh, onto an external hard drive. And so I think that's worth something. It, it This is not something that I saw anyone else do online. So um, I'm sure the voiceover command is well known, but uh, for fixing a broken screen, I'd just like to point out that you can navigate like this. It might be horrible, but yeah, you can do it. So thank you for watching my tutorial.